Registering and using PF Diagnose version 3. When you first install PF Diagnose version 3, you will be presented with a registration screen if you have not previously registered. In the top left corner, you will see a machine ID. You must copy this machine ID and then paste it to an email and send that to pfsupport at rogers.com. Once PF Support receives all of the information necessary to make you a key, they will email back a license file. Copy the license file as instructed in the email and then select the Paste button. This will paste the license file into PF Diagnose. Then click Submit. PF Diagnose will close, reopen it. Once reopened, you will notice that the truck is red. This indicates that you have successfully registered. The next step is to change the settings. In this case, we start with J1708. Even though it is selected, we will select it again. The adapter we're going to use is a DPA5 single application on USB 1 and for OBD2 purposes we will use the DPA5. Make sure all of the restrictors are off so that you can receive information from all of the modules available. If you suspect the vehicle may have both J1708 and J1939 you can select connect with both J1708 and J1939 dual protocol mode by checking this box. All other settings are going to remain in default except for possibly measurements. Select your measurement here or the type of graph. Then select Save. Now connect the DPA5 to the vehicle and to your computer. Select Connect. You should immediately see information start to populate. The tabs available are gauges showing active live gauges, temperatures showing live temperatures, DTCs or fault codes showing all of the fault codes, monitor and the monitor shows the live data coming in. One thing I should mention here is that some of the data does not appear. In some cases the data does not appear because it has not been requested. In order to request the data, we will check the box on the left-hand side. This will send a request to the ECM asking for that data to uh, be populated. If it is available, it will. In some cases, the information is not available. For example, fuel delivery pressure, this particular vehicle does not have a sensor, and therefore that information will not become available. You may see an orange box popping in and out, that is simply the request being made. If you want to request all of the available information, you can check the box at the top. PF Diagnose will then cycle through all of the various PIDs and request them from the ECM. As this request is being made, you may see the box uncheck. Once the information has been requested, it should soon become available. Here now you can see that the information is now available here. However, information on fuel delivery pressure is still not available in either J1708 or J1939. It's a good idea to uncheck this box after a while. It does tend to slow PF Diagnose down somewhat. Readiness is for OBD2 purposes. Emissions, same thing. You can request whatever information. If it doesn't appear, then it is not available in this particular module. Trip information, fuel information, and then J1939 LPG. If we were connected to an LPG engine, we would use this uh, by selecting gas here and then selecting what we want to view. However, we are not connected to a J1939 LPG engine, uh, so we'll just leave this on diesel and not use that. You can check the manual for instructions on how to retrieve 
uh, troubleshooting help if available um, and other finer points on the various settings and uh, features of PF Diagnose. In the graphs section you will notice that there are six PIDs selected. These are the PIDs that you are graphing. If you do not wish to graph a specific PID you can turn that graph selection off by scrolling to the top and selecting off. That bar will no longer be recorded. If you wish to change one of the PIDs that you are recording, for example we don't wish to record exhaust temperature we want to record coolant temperature. So I will select the bar locate coolant temperature sensor engine coolant temperature and then you'll see that the coolant temperature is now being graphed for more information on graphs please consult the manual thank you for watching and if you have any questions please contact pfsupport at rogers.com by email Thank you.